Do the Muslims living in North America want to implement Sharia law in North America, in Canada, in U.S.? Okay, so this question is usually posed by the media as a scaremongering question. Oh my god, there are Muslims in our society who want to impose the Sharia. You see, you use the word impose. Impose means you're doing something against the people's will. Well, if that's the question, no. No Muslim can ever impose Sharia in North America. However, the question should be, would the Muslims want to have Sharia with the consensus, with the consent of North Americans, with willingness of Americans, non-Muslim Americans? Would the Muslims be happy to have Sharia law if the non-Muslims agreed to it? Well, the answer is then a blatant yes, an obvious yes. So the question that is asked in the media is, um, do the Muslims in America want to impose Sharia? And then there'll be one side saying, no, absolutely not. They're all about American values. And the other side is going to be like, no, there are a section of Muslims who want to impose Sharia. Well, both are wrong and they're not addressing the question. They're not addressing what is supposed to be addressed. And that is Muslims in America is Muslims in America are living in America with American values, the American values that give freedom of religion, freedom of speech. So they should be allowed to explain about the benefits what they deem to be the benefits of sharia law implementation of sharia law and you as an american as a non-muslim american should be able to disagree or agree with it the, the whole idea is to have reason conversation rationale scientific discussions now it the portrayal is that if you're pro sharia just like with the abortion debate pro-choice versus pro-life the moment you say you're pro-life it's all about right versus left that's how questions about Muslim and Muslim-centric topics are portrayed in the media. So the moment you ask a question, hey, what do you think of Sharia law to a Muslim in America? He's going to get defensive. The Muslim in America is going to get defensive because he's going to think, oh my God, you want to chop my head off in America. That is just such a perverted interpretation of Sharia law. So Sharia law, as I've explained in one of my earlier videos, criminal law of Sharia cannot be implemented in a country without the consent of everybody living in there, which means including the consent of the non-Muslims there. However, Sharia civil law can be implemented without even checking with what the non-Muslims think about it because it is only between two Muslims. So it shouldn't affect anybody. But both of these implementations are completely in line with the American Constitution, with the Western ideals, that is, consent of people, democratic justice, and justice for all. The whole idea is having conversation, consensus. So if anybody asks you again as a Muslim, hey, are you pro-Sharia? Are you for Sharia in America? Do you want to bring import Sharia to America? Well, I'm pro a lot of things, uh, capitalist ideas. Um, is there anything in communism that you can import and, and, and inject into capitalism? Maybe not, but it's worth a discussion. So I'm pro all ideas. Hence, I'm also pro conversation about implementing Sharia. We can talk about the pros and cons, but I'm not pro imposing Sharia law without a conversation, without a consensus of everybody living wherever you want to impose that. That is the basis of Sharia criminal law, consensus.